How y'all doing? Tonight, I'm going to cook up a black eyed pea casserole. I got the recipe from Bezels here. Uh, we going to use some Allen's food products, some of these trappy black eyed peas, some slab bacon, and just some normal seasoned black eyed peas. We're going to make this real good, y'all. Something real easy to do in a great side or main dish. First thing you want to do is brown up a little bit of grind meat. I got about a pound and a half or so there. Uh, 80 20. We'll brown that off. Okay, so like I said, brown this ground meat off. Try to break it up. You know what I want? I've seen a lot of people in their videos. They got this plastic thing. It's got these little fins out. And they do it like that and it breaks up the ground meat. I don't know where they get that. I think somebody told me it was a pampered chef deal, but I've looked on the website and didn't see that. If anybody knows where to get one of those things, like I said, it's a, a, a plastic stick and instead of just a spatula here, it's got other fins coming out. They kind of like turn it like that and breaking up ground meat and stuff when you're when you're uh, browning it. So uh, if y'all know where to get something like that, let me know. But anyway, just brown this off. It's all brown down and we'll strain this off in a colander. Next, what you want to do, put your pan back on the stove and we'll get some seasoning blend. So basically, you can chop it up yourself. It's onion, bell pepper, and celery chopped up. It's just real staple in Cajun cooking. I'm going to find you a knife that's worth a dang. That one wasn't. Just take you a good knife here. Pop that open. All right. I'm going to put you about a cup of this in here. I'm making a double recipe. It's a, you know, just about always here. So just go ahead and put that in there and let it cook down just a little bit, okay? Now right, we got this uh, seasoning blend cooking down a little bit. I'm going to take a can of regular tomato, Rotel. Pour that in there and just let that kind of blend on in there with it and just cook. By the way, drain that can of Herotel. Um, I got most of this out, but I'm gonna drain a little bit more of it out. See, so we'll get that good and dry. At this time, very important, take your Bezels Cajun season. The very important part, I put about a tablespoon here. I'm gonna mix this with the vegetables. Just mix that on in. It's a tablespoon of Bezels. Or if you're just doing a normal one, about a half a tablespoon, all right? At this point. Then what we're going to do is put a ground meat back in. All busted up. Stir that in. Got all that stirred in. We're going to start adding Allen's food products or the trappies. This is the trappy black eyed peas with slab bacon by Allen's. Now this is some great stuff. And by the way, I drain all the juice from all of this stuff. You just don't need a whole lot of liquid in here. Then I'm going to take just Allen's regular seasoned black eyed peas here. Put a can of lemon in it. So they got a little bit of liquid in them, but you don't get out, but that's good. That's going to serve as a binder. Kind of mashed up. Good black eyed pea texture. So we're going to just stir this around. And oh, well, before we stir this around, I want to add one more with the peas here. I'm going to add another about a tablespoon of the uh, Bezels. What is it? Now what I'm doing, I'm stirring in that second tablespoon of Bezels Cajun seasoning in there with the peas and the grind meat and everything like that. We're just going to keep stirring this for about three or four minutes. Now that I have stirred this around a little bit, heated everything thoroughly, I'm going to add a couple cups of shredded cheese. Use a cheddar, whatever blend you like. We'll get that all nice and melted in there. Be wonderful here. Just make that like your binder. Just stir it in a couple cups of cheddar cheese right down in there. If that's melted down, you want to get down in here. We want to taste it for seasoning. See how everything tastes. Mmm. That's a good flavor. Good flavor to it. I mean, this is I like it. I mean, a little bit more bezels, a little bit of sprinkles or two. Now we're ready to get this in a casserole pan, y'all. Oh, yeah. A casserole pan here. Ready. And let's put our mixture right down in there, y'all. Oh, wow. Smells wonderful. Wonderful look at all those wonderful Allen's black eyed peas. That flavor from the Bezels. Oh, yeah. So let's just kind of spread this out a bit. Mix it somewhat. 
Oh yeah, that's good right there. Spread that some. Just get everything kind of evenly in there. Then what we'll come in here and do, I'm going to take some more cheese. Pull it over here. Um, just going to sprinkle it over the top, right? If I can get down in. I hate these little bags of cheese. Same amount of cheese, just smaller bag makes it hard to get down into it. I don't understand the point of that. Put a bigger mouth on the bag, hey. Yeah. Anyway, let's get this coated with cheese here on top. So now that you got a nice little layer of cheese on top, we'll pop it in a 350 degree oven. Check in about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so there it is. You just heat it till it's nice and bubbly. I'm gonna let it sit out about 10 minutes or so before serving any of it. But this is a wonderful, wonderful thing you can make with your Allen's black eyed peas and get your bees out season, of course. Give it that great kick, y'all. Great stuff. All right, so we're gonna give it a try. Sure looks good. Look at stringy cheese there. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's excellent, y'all. Be really, really good. I'm going to some cornbread. I'm going to make some later. Add some of this cornbread, y'all. Great little treat here. Great thing to do with your Allen's brand. Black eyed peas and that Bezel Cajun seasoning.